Well, welcome back guys. So I made the intro to this video a couple weeks ago and it was pretty good and I just realized that I deleted all the footage from the intro. So we're just gonna redo it here but it's not gonna be as good. But uh, the original intro, I showed you my snowmobile. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Boom. It's a 1967 Skidoo Olympic and Basically in the intro, this thing had been sitting for two years and I got it running. It really didn't take much at all. I uh, had two-year-old gas in there, sprayed some some gas in the old carburetor and she started right up. Um, I put a new belt on it because the other one was, oh, the other one's actually right here. You can see she had a little, uh, couple little wear spots in it, but not that it really affected the performance much of this thing. But anyways, tossed a new belt on it the other day. Uh, put fresh gas in it um, and yeah this is it it's been uh, semi restored uh, this isn't the original paint on here but uh, it's pretty close I think someone just used like the John Deere color paint on this but you can see I got snow on it because I just got back from riding it which is the part you're gonna be watching in just a minute here but uh, this sled was a uh, was given to me. Um, it was a someone who used to ride a lot with my grandfather. It was his sled, so um, pretty cool. It's a lot of fun to ride. Recoil's a little janky on it. Probably need to rebuild it at some point. Uh, the cord doesn't like to go in now every time, but hey. One thing that's a good idea to do with these sleds is the gas tank is way up here in the front. This is where you'd fill it originally. Uh, the belly pan is basically the bottom of the gas tank and over time those get dented from hitting stumps and rocks and everything else and they leak and it's just hard to um, get the gas out of that tank and everything so what I've done is just rig up a little one gallon tank here and you can buy all these parts right at the auto store just put a drill a hole in your tank rubber grommet with a fitting going up to the carburetor and then you just pre-mix your gas and put it right in there one gallon at a time just gonna go bombing through the woods a little bit messing around we don't have a ton of snow here right now. We had a bunch just a little while ago and uh, we got rain right after it. So I should have taken it out before now. We had like a foot and a half of powder to play in, but uh, we got probably, I don't know, six, seven inches of powder on top of a crust that's a little bit deepish in the woods. So we might be able to get into some of that, but uh, I'm just gonna go rip down the trail, um, try her out and show you guys this thing. I enjoy the video guys, we'll catch you at the end. Turn the key on.
Yo! She rips, boys. Look at that. Girls like she just came out of the crate. Woo! Ride her a little further, then we'll turn around and head back. It's gonna be dark here pretty soon, actually. She just wants to go, boys. That thing is fun, right there. The original mountain sled, boys. This thing can go anywhere. Woo! Boy, if you've never ridden one of those things in your life, you've got to. That thing is a workout. There's no sitting down on that bad boy. Skis are so narrow, so light and tippy that it just floats over everything. And you get it some pretty deep powder and she'll just go. Anyways, quick little video for you guys. Hope you liked it. Hit the subscribe, thumbs up. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.